I decided to go underground or go back to school. It's been 16 years mm -hmm. since your previous solo album. Yes. Um, why is the time right now for a new album? I didn't make a conscious decision not to make an album. My last album was Shag Tobacco, which came out late 95. And I performed and toured for about two, two and a half years. And then around late 98, I parted company with Island Records. Um, but I had been making, for about 10 years previously, albums and touring and albums and touring. And I felt a sense of uneasiness with the music industry. And Why? I just felt everything was being dumbed down. I mean, an example would be even just, I said I parted company, uh, Island Records dropped me in late 98. But the same week they dropped me, they dropped Marion Faithful, Tom Waits, Tricky, and they signed the Sugar Babes. So I could feel there was a real change in, in the way the music industry was becoming. It was becoming more of an industry than anything about music. And in that period I had also been working and dabbling in soundtrack a lot. And I wanted to find out more about that. In hindsight, when I look back at the last 15, 16 years, what I did, I didn't really know I was doing it. I didn't have an agenda. I'm going to do this and this and this. But what I really did was delve into the subjects and the areas musically and artistically and visually that I touched on over my career previous years, like my solo career with Virgin Prunes, theatre and, and the music of theatre and even acting. And painting. Maybe. And painting. But I, it's almost like I decided to go underground or go back to school. Because uh, when you work on soundtracks, I really wanted to know what it was like and how to really orchestrate and, and work with an orchestra and manipulate that beautiful sound into a soundscape I wanted to work with. Uh, I've always touched on the great sort of chanson singers as, as, as an influence, whether it be Brel or Kurt Weill was a big hero of mine. I decided to go and put on a Kurt Weill show and do one-man theatre. Eventually I acted in a movie, even to the end of the degree of like going and working with the Shakespearean company and lots of other different projects. So I was, yeah, in a very simple way, almost like going back to college or finding out more. And also life was going on, my own personal life, and shit happens in life, whether it's between my marriage breakup or I had a bad illness with my spine. I had surgery, so I was pretty fucked up for about nine months. So. That's sort of like the last 15 years. You, you said you went, it was like going back to school. Mm. Um, you know, going back to school means learning something. Yeah. Um, what did you learn then while going back to school the last 15 years? How to articulate certain things musically. Uh, like when you work in the restraints of cinema, you really, can't get in the way of the main narrative or the acting, so but you have to build this soundscape that says what the score, what the the score has to say, what the narrative isn't, and so I learned how to sort of manipulate and articulate musically, uh, and I learned how to articulate verbally and restrain. I was a very big, I still am a very big performer. But when you do something like this on a stage, it may look like a small gesture, but on camera, when your head's the size of this building, it's a very big melodramatic. So an eyebrow moving can say more than that sometimes. So I, 
learned restraint. Uh, you know, I mean, acting uh, when you when you go to a movie, it's 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 so so different. There's Jack in the Box. <laughs> acting is so different to like live spontaneous performance, which a lot of my organic stuff came from, like the Virgin Prunes were an improvisational act almost. And when you when you when you're in a movie, like I, I would say, it's a beautiful day, what do you think? And you go again. And forty times later, that's the take. Now do it from his perspective, that perspective, that perspective, that perspective. With the same intention, with the same look. You go, fucking exhausting. Yeah. Like one two minutes on tape is on film is is like a day's work. So I learned restraint and articulation. I think. <laughs>